Hello everyone and welcome to Camel Kingdom. This will be a tour of one of my first and most biggest YouTube projects I ever did in Planet Coaster. I thought because uh, so many new people joined the wonderful channel yeah, during the Planet Zoo times, I wanted to show you guys where it all has been started. So in fact, this park over here, this entrance building has been made in Planet Coaster actually 2016, just after the game came out. Well, actually, I think it was beginning of 2017, because at the end of 2016, I was still in uni, and I've been also to Thailand back then, uh, so I think I missed the launch period of the game, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so this is where we are, and the one thing why I'm doing this also is, um, I haven't opened this park in a very, very long time, and it appears that the performance actually got a lot better um, due to my upgraded computer, I should say, um, and I ended this project down to the fact that basically I couldn't play this anymore because the FPS were like below 10. Um, but as you can see, even with a lot of people in here, the park runs kind of smooth, like it's not super smooth, but um, yeah, we are in and you can see it's on play. We have like, uh, I think 5,000 guests or something in the park. Um, and yeah, a lot of, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, rubbish and stuff still in here. A litter is lying all over the place. But yeah, this is um, very Disney inspired. And you can definitely tell um, how much of a step up the Planet Zoo engine is. I am running a reshade setting, though, to say. Um, this is uh, making the game hopefully look a lot better um, by, you know, having better edge detection and stuff, making it all look a bit more smooth. I'm fairly happy with the settings, to be honest. Uh, it looks super smooth to me. Um, and yeah, just very enjoyable to watch and it's completely different uh, from the actual in-game look when you don't play it with the reshade enabled, but you know, reshade is also kind of cost intensive sometimes. Um, so yeah, you can see we are at the main street and the main street is, uh, yeah, super Disney inspired. I mean, that was the one thing to go for at the beginning um, of Planet Coaster, you know, playing this this wonderful game as a coaster game, which is still my main main thing. I love theme parks. This is my this is my my kind of thing, um, my hobby, my, my passion. I'm still loving zoos though, but yeah. Uh, also, just listening to the Planet Coaster music is so good again. You know, coming into the zoo kind of makes me realize how much passion and work went into it. I really hope that you guys love it, and I really would love to see you commenting the shit out of it in the comment section down below. First thing I want to know is, do you actually know this park already? Have you been with me in the in the whole uh, progress of building it? Or are you new to the channel, have never seen it, and you're just like caught by the thumbnail now? Or maybe you're even new to the channel, and you just saw it popping up. Um, I'm, I'm super interested and how you found this uh, video and how you found this park. So um, yeah, just let me know. But you can really tell there's a lot. Also, custom roofs for the win. You know, we also had them in here uh, <laughs> quite a bit, to be honest. Um, we will also be talking a lot about custom roofs when it comes to the Arabian area. So this park actually features three main themed areas um, and a kids area and the mainstream area, uh, main, st main street. I always kind of say that. And on the right hand side, you can just saw the coaster passing by this is the Pirate Bay area. So we are just going to go through here and then we are riding the coasters along. Um, this will be hopefully very enjoyable for you guys. As I'm always going to make like a little cut in the video. So before we jump onto the video, but I can see it's, it's very crowdy over here. Uh, quite a lot going on. I'm fairly confused that I'm like running now over 60 FPS at this point in time, which is uh, seriously crazy. Um, at, at, at certain point in time, this park was like, oh my god, this, I, I do have to level the sounds a lot later on so that you guys can hear me, my voice. It's super loud in here, but since I have the wave microphone, wave link, this will be easy to do. But yeah, um, I might say though, at this point in time, my coaster building skills were nothing short but absolutely bad. Um, and this is also one of the reasons why these coasters won't like be super enjoyable. Um, but you know, it was back then, it was all about the theming for me and making this as immersive and enjoyable as possible. Look at that coaster, how, how quick it goes down. And it just goes down here and will reappear over that bump over there and just, yeah, go into the right. We do have also like a little restaurant over here on the le left hand side. Just quickly show this to you. There you go, you can, you know, have some, some bullseye uh, themed things. And this is also a very special boat over here. I've built myself. This is completely custom made, as you can see. 
Um, there's nothing from the in-game pieces. This is a fully custom-made boat. You can even download this boat from the workshop in case you have Planet Coaster and you haven't uh, gotten this already for whatever reason you wouldn't. But yeah, so uh, we're just, you know, on this sunny day. Uh, we're just, first of all, going to go to the Pirate Coaster. So this one goes over here. You also have this uh, drop-off area where you can buy some photos, some action photos. You can see, maybe we can find ourselves. Ah, we're not in here. So let's just go into the coaster. Man, it's super crowded. Um, oh my lord, the queue is up until here. I'm so happy I'm VIP. Is that the new Bristol Dortmund jersey? They knew it already six years ago, four, four years ago. Well, holy crap. Uh, for those of you who know football, that was a little joke about the new uh, jersey or the new kit that Bristol Dortmund will be rocking next year. Um, yeah, it's quite a fairly long, uh, long queue. It's not like super long. Oh, excuse me for this weird walk-in. I'm just holding down shift again to make it a bit more yeah, enjoyable for you guys, uh, because I don't want to make this video so super long, but I'm still also not wanting to make um, this too weird to not, uh, you know, not follow that, because it's moving of the mouse is too quick. Um, although we have like a little pirate wheel over here. Am I just standing on a person? No, I'm not. Okay, let's just go down. Also, I do recognize this ground texture from Planet Zoo. It's also, again, this kind of cobble, cobble-ish uh, stone ground, even though the one in Planet Zoo looks a lot better, obviously, but yeah. Um, let's just rush through here. We're just running through here. We have VIPs, okay? So let's go in into the coaster and um, Yeah, since this one is just into the station, we're just taking that one, right? All right, we are in front row here and I'm gonna tune down the music a little bit so Actively so we can have a bit more of the coaster sounds and now let's enjoy the ride And I hope that the performance will be good Actually also we are sitting in a seat and I've no idea how the smoothness of the coaster will be Because whenever I build coasters back then I made this out of the bumper cam So excuse me if this is now completely rough and super unrealistic which it will be eventually anyways, but um, Yeah, so let's let's have a look how this coaster turns out to be. I um, forgot most of it, to be honest, but oh yeah, the look of the park, FPS going down. It's not like super bad, I'm still surprised. Um, I was expecting it much worse. So we go into this very choppy little... Wow, that wasn't even so choppy. I, I remembered it to be way worse, to be honest. Through the restaurant area, and then we just go smoothly around here. I have to say though, from this camera perspective, it doesn't feel like so, you know, bad as I was expecting it. Um, like the layout is not super realistic though, but let's see how, how smooth that one comes out. Wow, it's actually not bad. A little bit of an overhanging curve here. I remember to go into loop now. Yeah, there you go. The loop's like kind of into the into the wall here, and then we are just going to go here with some splash effects, up and down, gathering some airtime. And then over the next restaurant here, it's, yeah, I mean, the forces are quite intense over here, like super crazy forces. Um, nearly had chopped over here, but then back into the station. Again, I'm, I'm like super surprised how well the performance is. Um, but yeah, so here, here we go. We are already back in the station. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed this first ride. Well, let's go with our VIP pass to the next coaster. So here we stand at the exit of this coaster. Um, before everyone is crashing into it, let's just move out of this one um, and go to the next one, the next coaster or the next area, I should say, because in that area we don't have a second coaster. Now, um, as you can see, it's quite still busy area over here, so we just take that stairs down and then, yeah, to the right hand side. Uh, this uh, no wait, this is uh, this is still the same. Here we go. This is the way where we can go actually to the uh, little kids wheel. You can see there is a very unsafe exit area. I, I should have put a fence here. I'm not sure why I never did this, um, but I was just like a big fan of, of having having this vista over here where the coaster comes out. I don't know, this was the very beginning. Again, I'm, I'm like, still, that was one of my first projects. And if you see how Isla Napali and stuff has turned out later on, you know that I've improved a lot. But holy crap, this looks actually way better than I expect, than I remember it to look. Look at the, look at the view. That's just kind of cool. Also with the with the wonderful pirate ship over here. Let's just have a look to the pirate ship, okay? Because that's something special. I've I've shown that on stream lately, um, but I think many people don't know that this, uh, okay. That was weird. Um, that this pirate ship is actually a motion simulator that I made myself, and this is um, wait, did that some, somebody puked on the ground? And there's our janitor. What the hell is even going on? It's uh, the motion simulator seems to be very, very famous. 
<laughs> no, actually, the toilet is famous. Um, but yeah, if you go in here, you can see this is a fake um, ride. Actually, if you go and, and press the play button, um, this motion simulator ride takes place. If you want to see that, I will be linking this now into um, the top right corner. There you get the full ride of it, uh, because I, I think this would take too long now. I think it's five and a half minutes long or something, so it's not for now. But in case you want, the link is in the description and also to the top right card now. You can, you can do it if you want. Now, if we storm out of here and glitching into the ground, you can see there's a shop area where no one is working. Everything is just... Did you just kick that over? I hate you. Can I just kill you? Um, what is going on here? I think the, the park is barely even running. All my janitors are kind of... I don't know. They're bugging around. I don't know why. Um, nothing to, to change now. But yeah. We also have like a pirate ship over here where there is um, the... Um, yeah, actually the queue is going over the road, which I found uh, back then very cool. Also, can we have these things back in Planet Zoo? I mean, I mean, that, let alone the fact that we had them in the game, can we just have them again? I love, I love these things too much. And just, you know, I was actually judging lately that the foliage in Planet Zoo looks so much better, which it still does. But this banana one over here, especially with the reshade, looks fantastic. That looks really cool though, with the bloom and stuff. Um, but yeah, you can definitely tell also from the palm trees how much better they look in zoo. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't want to constantly compare that. By the way, you can actually go into this tower over here and have a look over the park. Um, shall we just quickly do this? Nah, it just takes long, okay? We are in a theme park and we cannot always do everything. This is this is how it is. Um, but now we're going into into the Arabian area, which I think is still my favorite. You have this this boat ride over here. God, I love this game. Why haven't I been in this game for so long? Look at the... Oh, look at it. Theme parks have a... have a very special and certain appeal to me. I cannot really describe it, but they are just incredible. Uh, okay, so... This area is one of these areas where at, at some point I needed to stop, unfortunately. So this is why it's like not 100% finished and, and done. Um, but from over here, we can start um, at looking at the things I made. So this is a bench and it is fully made out of books, as you can see, because they looked fairly Arabian to me and we didn't have that many Arabian pieces in here. So this is a bench cover um, made out of books, which um, was also very FPS costy, I guess. But yeah, you can definitely tell um, this is some, some little recreation area. We do have some shades over here. And back in the time, we didn't have UGC or whatever. So this is all made from in-game pieces. Um, yeah, the boat ride just comes flying past. And also I made some, you know, a little stand for uh, spices and, and some Arabian stuff you would also get here. And then this path leads you basically around this corner to the Arabian Plaza. Um, these palm trees should get a little bit of water. I mean, they're just literally ne next to the water, but they get some brownish, uh, brownish leaves. We should chill. We shall change this. But yeah, so this is my Arabian castle, very much inspired by Disney's Aladdin. And um, yeah, this this whole plaza has this wonderful flat right in the center. But there's just so much more to see here. Let me just kind of first of all go to the right hand side here. And that is where the exit actually of this um, secret boat ride is. But we also have like a little shop here, which is um, a little bare bone. You know, actually I had some people working in here, but um, it almost is like not visited at the moment. And uh, it's kind of cool ceiling though. Uh, but there's no one in. There were also some pictures in and at a certain point it's, it's left over. There, you know, it's, it's kind of refurbishment work is going on. But yeah, this is the exit actually of the... Um, boat ride which is in the basement of this entire area and we can see you also have some people already waiting in the queue and ba back then I really was so happy with the building here because um, the queue is integrated in the in the exit way which you kind of often see in real theme parks uh, how they do it too it's also you know it has to do with the excitement of uh, of the rides and stuff so the people that wait at the exit um, still see people queuing and, and may just have, you know, a little bit of a, a drive to go there anyway. So here's the spices stand again. And if we go around that corner, you can see there's like a little bathroom, which is a little stinky. <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, let's just go on here. Um, I should move that quick, but it's... Uh, I, I wish there is a way of being exactly in the middle of these two um, speeds. Like this is a little bit too slow, while the other one is too quick. A um, little bit of uh, info here. 
This is also one of my Arabian hanging lights. It's one of the most downloaded uh, items I've put in the workshop. But oh my god, I cannot tell you how many pieces that is. I think it's for one lantern. This should be way over 50 pieces. Not really sure how many exactly those were, but um, I know it was quite piece heavy. Um, you also get another entrance here to the flat ride. It's, you know, very bare bone. It's, it's not too crazy. Um, but then we come to one of my favorite places in the entire area, and that is the Arabian Market. I really spent my heart and soul building this one. And you, know, you can really tell how much Planet uh, Coaster has also developed over the course of the time. Because back in the day, this was really the most detailed you, can, you could get. Like, this is by far the most detailed um, that you could have ever created back in the day. Um, and you can see, you can even buy some carpets over here and then just like a lot of stuff. There are some, some beverages in here before we had even beverages and all that kind of stuff. You, you can really tell that there was a certain, I think there was a, a certain beauty uh, about this game once we didn't have UGC and anything else like that. Just because you, you needed to use the pieces available to create what we created. And I'm, I'm, still, I'm still such a huge fan of that, you know. Yeah, so this building over here uh, is very interesting, but we need to n take this staircase over here to get to the actual coaster. There's another little viewing platform. You can look back into the park a little bit if you want. You can see a bit of the pirate area in case you haven't been there already, just to tease you. And if we go even higher, you get another vista, which is the main street vista, which um, yeah, still is gorgeous, I guess. This both in here, it's, I think it's just looking very cool indeed. Uh, I had some struggle with the pathway, same engine, same problems. And uh, we do have these Vista points again. Can we have them back please, Frontier? Um, and this is exactly the Vista point for the main street. I'm still, I, I still love that. I still love that with all the people moving around and ah, this is just so gorgeous. There's a lot of like a little camel statue I built for myself. Quite selfish, I know, but yeah. So now we come to my most favorite queue. Uh, did, the, did the ride just break down because people just coming back? Oh, don't they? Oh, I think the, the, the ride just broke down. Um, but yeah, so this is the queue. Let's just follow the queue, okay? And then I will ride with the with this ride as soon as it's fixed. Um, but yeah, it's <laughs> the Z fighting still is a thing in this game. I haven't fixed it all, but yeah. So um, this is this is part of the journey. You can look into here. This is where the exit is, where we've been just in a few seconds ago. Um, and then you go even further down. You have some kind of cool little style elements here, some LED lights down here in the flooring. Um, and you know, just go down. I don't really like that everyone is just coming at me right now. <laughs> it's like, hey, I want to go on this ride. And the ride broke down. Okay, whatever. Yeah, let's just go into a corner and wait until they have all passed by. I don't even know how many people were queuing. Um, but yeah, they, they seem to be all very mad and angry. I cannot really understand. Hey, nice shirt, mate. Okay, so that's cool. Um, Nice hat. You, you got a nice hat too. And you got a nice hat too. Also, lovely beard, mate. Um, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, kind of nice style. I like this. You wear pretty glasses. Um, oh, nice hair. Uh, okay, let's not wait for all the time. That just is too ridiculous. Um, maybe that's already it? No, I don't think so. But yeah, this is the part where we are in the actual area where the exit way is. You can really see. Also, for the people queuing, it's very interesting because you see the people coming out of the ride and hopefully they are smiling a lot and this is what you then uh, yeah want to see the whole time uh, and makes you even more excited okay let's go even more down in here so this is where it all starts to look a bit different you can see also people leaving the building it's getting a bit more cozy and the overall lighting changes I love reshade by the way down here reshade does wonders with the with the oval atmosphere oh my lord <laughs> Yeah, no, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look safe at all. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is the ride. Actually, you can you can you can tell this is going to be an awesome little boat ride, which I'm really really excited to show you. So now, um, yeah, let's just hop on. All right, we are back in this ride, and up we go. Off we go in this wonderful little area, and you can tell. This is the little boat ride. We come into the little Arabian area and it's all dusty and, and mystical and we're going through a desert here. You can see in the nights of the desert, there is something appearing. It's a lovely little temple or like a, a, a big mosque actually. Actually, it's, it's not even a mosque. It's like a, uh, yeah, it's, it's just like this big castle. Um, I don't even know. Um, 
it's I think it was inspired by a little uh, how's this again called I forgot the name again but just a little model city you know uh, it's like a dior diorama is it what it's called I guess it is then we have like a moving room where the walls come a little bit closer to you there's even like a little jump scare moment over here and then you just come open into the Arabian market area the, the boat ride is a tad bit too quick but I couldn't make it any slower which is a bit unfortunate you have some some fake camels over here you can see there are the camels this is actually the best i could do with the camels back oh my god we we just survived the autosave quite nicely um i, I wasn't expecting that but yeah so this is the magic gate which uh, doesn't work properly in the safe i don't know why exactly but you know there's no no time to fix it um but yeah so we are off this uh, little area and that was the little pre-show so to say and this was actually inspired to make like a like and yeah, sorry, there was a little cut here because my hard drive was full. I should have checked that earlier. But yeah, you can see this, um, actually this ma magic gate comes behind a waterfall. And it's not going to move now, but yeah. So um, this ride, as I said, is, is having a little story. And this is why I'm still very happy about how this turned out to be in the end. Um, because again, I'm, I'm just a big fan of these story rides in general. And um, I, yeah, I just tried to do this. And unfortunately, all the media is gone. And otherwise, you would have ca caught the story a bit better. But it was like meant to be following a little... Um, you know sh charge of someone and yeah the end is that you find this person but um anyways let's have a little ride here on this coaster and yeah again i wasn't super good at, at building coasters i think this is fairly i i didn't I, you know i don't want to call it decent but it's okay-ish for the sake of what it is um it's it's rather smooth um but it's again it's not like the super crazy layout and then you come back down here there's a little splash element there's already a little bit of a tease for what is going on in the other part of the park and then uh, we are already moving out of this wonderful little ride over here oh, i'm just i'm just such a big fan i am such a big fan of that ride and then yeah you just enter the station boom all right we are out of this tour and now we are heading off into the last themed area of the zoo which is in fact also the best one i want to say simply because it was the the one that came the latest in this game and therefore used all of my knowledge that i gained and also all of the new pieces and and you know all of the new techniques and the litter it's the same as in uh planet zoo though um but yeah <laughs> let's go down here and um now you can see there is this wonderful camel statue in the water i had i had really big plans for this zoo um uh, for this for this park to be honest um which were crushed by performance as i said and time and whatnot but yeah this is this is um this area we are heading in now was one of the first things that was the translation of what i wanted to do um and that is the medieval area but just look at that i'm still incredibly happy especially about my knight in the middle this is a completely handmade statue that i made out of a lot of single single pieces that i recolored um i believe it was from the adventure pack even it looks like golden adventure pack pieces that are meant to be mayan pieces but yeah um i made all of these buildings completely myself as you can see they have all custom roofs non-in-game roofs um Everything is, is built exactly how it should be. The only thing is that these buildings are way too big in comparison. Like I, you know, scale wise, I wasn't that good at the time. I think everything else was already on point, so to say. I was really happy with my, with my theming, landscaping, everything. But the um, overall look and feel. Look at also, we also have this water uh, river rafting right down here. I love that one still, um, that it is embedded into this area. It's not like super nice to, to watch, so we are not riding this one, but yeah. Um, I just, again, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this area. I'm a big fan. We also have this wonderful chapel, which um, was one of the first things we did just because at the time we didn't have glass in the game. And now we do have glass, or we did have glass. And so, well, actually, in fact, we didn't have glass. We had gemstones, and these could be used as glass, especially, and uh, first of all, for like um, these religious buildings. And you could even recolor them. You can really see the, the colored tint in these things. So look, I'm still quite a big fan of this little chapel, to be honest, with the mummy <laughs> on this on this cross over there. Not really fitting that well, but yeah. Um, there's also like a, a vista point in here. That's the reason why people come and go in. Yeah, with this little 
little well down here and a whole bunch of shops you can sit down uh, restaurant ish things we even have like a proper restaurant over here with like a, a whole counter where you can grab some stuff um, it's also fake unfortunately so people are not really they did use it because there's some litter but uh, <laughs> it's all, all over the place it's it's not like the idea was you get this um you, you get here to the counter, you can order, and then you go in and, you know, they prepare the order and at the end you, you're just going to pay. And then, uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. The idea was there, the realization didn't work. You have also like a cozy little outside area. In times of social distancing, that's not the best area to have. And yeah, just a little night uh, area down here. But it's all about, again, the ride that is very much inspired by Terron in... Uh, Fantasia Land, um, with how the theming goes, how it crashes through the buildings and stuff. But I'm guessing that you guys want to ride this ride, and I remember correctly, I guess, that the entrance to this ride is in here. So, yeah, people are already queuing up to this very point. You know what we do? We just rush through the wonderful queue a little bit, and then we go into this ride. Now, now this queue is also very, very long. Um, I tried to make this as realistic as possible. Like moving here, you can have a look to the station down here, seeing the cars already, building the excitement, again, thinking about the story, just coming back a little zigzagging out of here. Then you are standing in here where there's the brake run of the coaster. So again, another little element of excitement. And then you just go, my God, the, there's this just like the level of, of the audio level, the, the sheer volume of this area is insane. And then you're just not there. The coaster can be seen just another time, you know. And just where you think, yeah, now I'm there. Nope, it just curls around here again. And then you have to stand here in line as well. And then finally it moves back into the station and finally into the coaster, which we're going to ride right now. All right, we are in, and uh, just a moment before we go, there you go, the gate opens, we have some dusty misc, some medieval music kicking in, you can really not tell. I could actually lower down the music quickly, so you can hear that, there you go. -da! It's a glorifying music. Um, yeah, we're climbing up the hill. I'm really not sure how often we will um, chop off our heads here because I've never ridden that thing out of uh, the actual guest perspective, but we will see. I'm, I'm still quick, uh, quite impressed by the performance, to be honest. Um, it, it's really enjoyable, which is crazy. Now it should be... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wow, oh my lord. Oh my god, the danger. The danger. The choppiness. Oh my lord, oh my lord, oh my god, oh my, oh my, I, Jesus, I would never, even, oh my god, oh my, oh my, oh, I just, I'm, I'm, my head is already completely dead, I've got two blue eyes, and, uh, no, uh, actually it worked, I, I think it worked, and then up into the little basement over here, and back the last thing by the monastery, we have another helix, this ride is insane, like, the intensity of this ride would actually kill you, so, <laughs> Oh my goodness me, what a damn crazy ride. Oh my goodness. I I thought this one was my best one. I have to take that away. This is not my best ride in this park, not at all. All right, guys, we are out of the coaster and actually we are now in the overview camera because I think this area is the best to catch from above. And also I didn't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to show you the rest via this way so also we have a wonderful oh my god i just turned the music a tad bit too loud let's do it down again um i i kind of created this monastery over here which i'm still quite in awe with um it's basically completely unnecessary over here there is is a ride in here but no one really uses that ride um so there is like you, you can go around and then this is all the queue in here a bit of inspired by harry potter ish uh, you know kind of a building style but all over the place this is just completely unnecessary we do have the river rapids which go through the forest in the back here um, and then you know, they curl around to this little thing and then down into this lake and we have this wonderful station which I'm quite happy with I mean this is this is totally fake but it it kind of looks like as if this is the real station and I built it that way to make it appear as if it is really that roundy station but in fact the real station is down here and I've, I've, I've done my best to, to hide this away uh, by just putting the entrance. Um, where's the entrance again where they jump off uh, into the... 
oh, they jump into this here. So um, I made it look like as if, if this is the real entrance over here. So yeah, um, the park unfortunately ends here, which uh, is a pity. I always plan to go further into this area. Like there's still a lot of space to be filled as you can see. Um, but yeah, and then the last thing I haven't shown you yet is the kids area. They have actually a dedicated little playground in the middle here. And then there are some shops and vending machines. And then there is this little bee coaster, which is a little kitty coaster, um, which is not really worth the ride. It's, it's super slow and it's super, super small, um, super short. We can actually follow the train quickly over here. You can see it's going down, right hander, a little airtime hill, and it just goes down to the right curls around, has this wonderful curve over there. Then it goes into one little bunny hop here, which is potentially a little bit too intense, and then into the right hand now. Another little bunny hop, oh well, it's not really a bunny hop. And then it goes around the next bee heave, just around that corner, and there you go. You can also find that in my workshop in case you want to have this as a full blueprint. Um, but again, I'm not like, like it's, it's okay, it's decent. I think coaster-wise, this is like nothing too, too much wrong with this one, but also not too much right. It's kind of in the middle, it's okay. Um, then we have this car ride, which goes to a little, through a little garden here, which, um, yeah, this is just like generic Disney-ish car ride, which goes um, through this whole town, um, also through a little tunnel here. But um, yeah, it's just how it is. And then you even have this like little back side. It's not even backstage. It's like a little backside uh, walkway you can take. I remember that this line Paris has it as well. And then you just go here and you can join the main street in case you want to join this area immediately. But anyhow, guys, this was my little tour of, uh, yeah, Camel Kingdom, which was not that little because it was quite long. I really do hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tour. I, I certainly did enjoy rejoining my old project here. Um, it, it kind of gave me so much um, doing this. It kind of grew the channel quite a lot. It really made me some... Uh, incredible memories and I really do hope that I could translate that nicely to you uh, in today's episode and again um, as always I really would love to hear your opinion on that and what's your favorite area of this park um, have you seen that before again the, the question I already had at the beginning have you seen this zoo for, uh, this this park before have you seen um, this project if not um, have you, haven't you been on this channel at that time and uh, yeah just let me know in the comments down below but have a wonderful week guys have a good day and i talk to you in the next one